Hey there, Variety viewers and or fellow Hot Wheels hoarders. It's your host, Jay's Variety Show here. Um, I've got a few new Hot Wheels that I'd like to show to you guys. So uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, the first four that I'm going to show you, um, well actually the first eight that I'm going to show you, they're all in blister packs. But the first four I'm going to show you, they're a special uh, collection. They're from the Track Day Metal on Metal Real Riders collection. There's actually five of them. I'm missing number five. I couldn't find it at Walmart. They only had one to four. Uh, the one that I'm missing is the Datsun Bluebird. So I need to be on the look for that. But uh, I can definitely show you number one to number four. So here we go. Number one is the Porsche 964. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully it'll focus in there for you. Maybe not. Doesn't seem to want to focus that great for me. I don't know why. It's the Porsche. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That's what I was looking for. That's the Porsche 964. I like this car. That's number one out of five of the track day collection number two is another Porsche this is the 1978 Porsche 935 that's 935 another really nice Porsche not bad 1978 I'm not the hugest fan of Porsche, to be honest, but <clears throat> it's Hot Wheels, so and it's Real Riders, and Metal on Metal, some of my favorite Hot Wheels. Number three, this is a really nice one, this is the 1970 Chevy Chevelle. This car is pretty sweet. I like the rims, <clears throat> excuse me, metal on metal, real riders, as you can see in the corners there. I really, really like this collection. I wish, I have the, I have all eight of the Gran Turismo from the PlayStation game collection. Uh, they're not real riders, I kind of wish they were, but still a sweet collection. So yeah, this is the 1970 Chevy Chevelle from the, again, from the, Hot Wheels Track Day Collection. Number four. This is probably my favorite one out of these four. It's really sweet. This is the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Pretty slick looking car. Really heavy. Nice chrome rims. Rubber tires. This car is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Big old spoiler on the back. Nice tampo. Awesome car. So that's it. Oh, actually, maybe I can show you the Datsun Bluebird. Kind of just a small picture of it. Right there. Come on. Datsun Bluebird 510. That's 5 of 5. I'm missing that bad boy. But I will find it. Alright. Uh, the next one that I'm going to show you in Blister Pack is actually one that my mom just brought home for me today. Thanks, Mama Bear. This is a Street Beast. Doesn't say the model of the car. Just says it's a Street Beast. 
but yeah, it doesn't even say on the bottom of the car either. Weird. Unless it's just called the Street Beast. Must be the Street Beast. All right, yeah. Okay. No, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. But it's a nice car. It's got the King of Diamonds on there. And there's no name on the bottom underneath the car there. That's weird. It's like my Simpsons family car. But anyways, nice car. Nice big old boat of a car. Again, thanks, Mom. Not a bad looking Hot Wheels. Up next we have the What What a Drag. The What a Drag. This is a really cool car and I had to have it. Actually you'll see it in my uh, Jay's Variety Camping Vlog number two when I went to the Strathroy Antiques Mall. This is where I got this bad boy. This is the What a Drag. Up next, we have one of my favorite Hot Wheels. This is the Surf Crate. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth one. Third Tampo. Really nice colors on this bad boy. There's my Surf Crate. My newest Surf Crate. I love these cars. Such a hot rod. Big exhaust. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then next up, this car is pretty cool. It's the Rig of Mortar, but it's from a Tony Hawk collection. This is number one of four. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's actually a Tony Hawk right there. It's the Rig of Mortar. Another cool Hot Wheels. I think this is probably my third. I think this is my third one. Not a bad looking car. Uh, I got a few loose ones here that I want to show you. The first few, well actually they're all pretty old except for maybe two of them. Yeah, I think these first two are probably a little bit newer. <clears throat> the first one is one I got today actually with uh, the one in package that my mom got me. This is Disney Pixar. It's Hot Wheels. I'm assuming that it's the pig from Toy Story, like, turned into a Hot Wheels van. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I think it might be the Mr. Pig. The pig guy from uh, Toy Story. If any of you know, please let me know down in the comments below. Up next, uh, I have a yellow one of these in package up on my Hot Wheels wall, which you've all seen. This one is called the Roll Cage, and I really like the color on this one. Not as much as the yellow, but still a pretty slick looking car. Or Doom Buggy, I guess maybe you'd say. Pretty sweet though. That's the roll cage. Now these next ones are pretty old. This one's from 1979. It's a bulldozer missing the track. Missing the tracks on the wheels. Nineteen seventy nine. I wish it had the tracks on it, but it doesn't. Say la vie, right? Still nice to have in the collection. Up uh, next, this one is also from nineteen seventy nine. Caterpillar piece of equipment. Interesting little vehicle. A lot of these old ones I have doubles of. So it's pretty cool. Up next, I was really excited to show this one off because I have the gold version of it. 
And I found this also at the Strathroy Antiques Mall. Guess I can't really. I'll have to show you this way. I have the gold one. Oops. And now I have this one. I was so excited to get this. I was so excited to find it. Actually, my homeboy Nudes, he has this one. I believe it's this one. Nudes, bro, let me know if this is the one you have. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm um, excited to put this guy up on the shelf up to up next to the gold one. So, yeah. It's the Zombot. Uh, the next three I'm going to show you are the last three from the antique Mall. I believe this is a Lamborghini Diablo. Doesn't say on the bottom, but it's got a nice sparkly paint job on there. Um, at first when we saw it, we weren't sure, like, if it was, if someone had painted it with, like, some fancy sparkly nail polish, or if it was actually legit, but my mom looked it up, and it's legit. So that's a pretty cool car. I think that's a Lamborghini Diablo, pretty sure. Up next, we have this nice gold limo. It's from 1990, also again from the Antiques Mall. I really like it, nice and gold, nice and shiny. Really nice limo. I was excited to get that. This one's really cool too. <clears throat> I actually have this car. I have two of them. Uh, and they both have rubber tires. I think I have a blue one and maybe a red one. But now I have a gold one. It doesn't have the rubber tires. But it's gold and it's got a nice, uh, nice kind of pattern in the body there. In the gold. Kind of interesting. Now my mom looked this one up and she said that there's one that actually is made out of 24 karat gold and it's worth like 80 bucks. But I don't think this one is the one that's made out of 24 karat gold. I don't think I'd get that lucky to find it just at an antique mall. But I'm not 100% sure. Like I'm not 100% certain. So yeah, but that's it. That's a nice car. I like it so I bought it. This one is a nice Hot Rod Hot Wheels delivery, 1988. I bought it because it was in a box that I got, and I liked it because it was yellow. And it's old. Nice Hot Rod. Up next, we have another pretty sweet older Hot Rod. This is from 1976. This is called the T-Totaler. Look at that. That is awesome. Nice car. Well, guys, that was the last one that I had to show you guys. <clears throat> but don't worry, I got a bunch of new Hot Wheels still that I need to show off. I need to get filmed. Um... So thanks for watching, and until next time, and until the next episode of Hot Wheels Hoarders, this is your host, Jay's Variety Show, signing out. Take care, guys.